Hi everyone, I was wanting to do my Sailor Moon Crystal Episode 5 review, and I will be talking a little fast because my internet is giving issues and I want to make sure I cover the episode before this internet gives trouble and I want to make sure it uploads. So, here we go. And of course I will be comparing it to the 90s <coughs> episodes versus the Crystal episode. So, episode... So Act 5 of Sailor Moon Crystal premiered, and it is with Sailor Jupiter, so Jupiter makes the scene. And the difference right off the bat, not only the artwork, <laughs> uh, is in the 90s episode, we did not get to see Sailor Jupiter until episode 21. So, And by that time in the 90s, we had... Zoisite taking over as the lead to handle the scouts. And also a difference between the 90s episode and now is in the 90s when Jupiter first arrived, the Negaverse was looking for the seven rainbow crystals. And they weren't just collecting energy, they were looking for the seven rainbow crystals for the Shadow Warriors. Whereas in Crystal we don't get that. And again, Crystal is covering more toward the manga, is staying true to the manga more. So, the episode opens up as as Lita walking to school in the rain and she's asking herself, when will it stop raining? So, uh, so we kind of get a little small glimpse of her. And we also get to see Serena walking to school with Luna. And she's yawning because she's tired. And she's not really paying attention. And so she walks in front of the car. And Lita saves her. So, and she tells her t to be more, more aware of her surroundings. And... Serena's attracted to her earrings, her rose earrings, instead of kind of what she's listening to. So she's like having what Lita tells her go in one ear, not the other. So we cut to the school, and uh, Serena's friends are talking about a bridal store. And that's another thing. In this Crystal episode, where, when Sailor Jupiter makes the scene, we have Nephlite taking control and not Zoicide. So Zoicide hasn't had his chance yet or her chance. I'm still used to calling Zoicide a girl. Uh, but, yeah. So, they're talking about a bridal store and how it's haunted. And uh, Molly's cousin is getting married. So she is telling him, well, you know, telling, him, telling her friends about that. And when... Serena is daydreaming. She bumps into Lita. And we also get to find out why Lita is not wearing the normal school uniform. And before that I say that, anything like that, I also want to make sure or to cover in the 90s episode when Serena first meets Lita, she's running late to school. She has a group of boys kind of they get mad at her for bumping into one of them. Lita steps in and fights them, and they get they run off scared. Well, then the Crystal episode it didn't happen like that. She met Lita when she almost got hit by a car, so that's different. And also, let's see what else I want to cover real quick. Um, oh yeah, when Serena bumps into Re uh, Lita at school. Lita tells her to be more careful and watch where she's going. And also, we also get to find out, at least I do, because I was not understanding why she was wearing a different uniform in the 90s, but now I understand. When a teacher asks Lita why she's not in the school uniform, Lita tells the teacher or the staff member that their school uniforms are too small for her, so that's why she's wearing her old uniform. And so... Uh, we're going to cut to the school, s or to the lunch scene, where in the 90s, of course, Serena's lunch got uh, 
smushed when she bumped into the people. And so, uh, she sees Lita outside, kind of lonely, because no one will talk to her. And so she goes behind where uh, Lita is sitting, and kind of, you know, surprises her, and uh, admires her lunch, and a baseball almost hits Serena, but Lita stops it, so that's different. In the 90s, that didn't happen. They ate together at lunch by a tree, whereas in Crystal, they ate together on a bench. That's different. And also, Lita gives Serena her rice roll or whatever it is, her lunch. So Serena ignores her lunch and eats Lita's. So that's different, um, kind of different in the versus the Crystal episode and now. So, in the Crystal, Lita asks Serena to show her around the town, to show her, what, like, where there's an arcade, where there's a good store, grocery store, because Lita likes to cook. And so, after school, Serena takes Lita to the arcade where Lita plays the Sailor V game. And Lita gets to meet Andrew. So, that's, that happened in the 90s. So, that's the similarity. And also, uh, she meets Amy, and after they go to the arcade, they go to Ray's house, and they kind of talk about some stuff, and then L Lita is like, oh, I gotta go home, so she goes home, and they, uh, Serena is kind of getting a feeling that she's a Sailor Scout, and so is Luna, but Luna doesn't say anything, really. So, we cut to the night scene uh, when, uh, I think it's in an alley or something, Andrew sees the mannequin bride from the bridal store that uh, Molly talked about. So we see, a, we see a mannequin for the bridal store, uh, and, they, and the mannequin tells Andrew that, well, look, you know, you're my slave and all that. He, they, it possesses Andrew, and it tries to collect energy. Well, it, co it they run into Lita, and it takes her energy, but uh, Darian is walking by when he sees it. And here's the difference. When, in the 90s, um, like I said, Zoicite was um, in control, not Nephlite, but Nephlite is up at that now. And so, anyway, Darian sees what happened because he's walking home reading a book he sees what happened he transforms into, into tuxedo mask and serena is asleep at home and i don't we don't know how he found her home but he finds her and wakes her up and tells her to go with him luna is asleep on serena's bed and so serena takes tuxedo mask's hand and luna calls amy and ray and so Sailor Moon transforms after she sees the mannequin taking Lita's energy. So uh, th she helps Lita break the break the bond between the between Nephilite's goon <laughs> and break free from that. But the monster takes Serena's energy or Sailor Moon's energy and Sailor Mars and Sailor Mercury's energy. Well, Lita's symbol appears, and, Le and Luna is saying, I knew it, she's an ally instead of an enemy. So she gives Sailor Jupiter, or Lita, the transforming pin, and we get to see Sailor Jupiter's 3D transformation, which I thought was awesome. <laughs> and so Sailor Jupiter beats Nephlite's goon, and uh, everything goes back to normal. And so... So what else do I want to cover real quick? Uh, let's see. So yeah, Sailor Jupiter makes the scene. And we don't get to see another new episode. We don't get to see Act 6 until two weeks from now. So not next Saturday, but the following. I don't know what date that is. But there you go. That is my Sailor Moon Act 5 episode review. I will see you in another Sailor Moon collection or Sailor Moon episode review.
video. And also, real quick, uh, Act 6 will cover Tuxedo Mask, so we get to see him. Uh, we get to see more about him in the next episode. So, there you go. That is my Act 5 Sailor Jupiter episode review for Sailor Moon Crystal. I will see you in the next Sailor Moon episode review. Bye.